ABCD is a parallelogram. Um, and we are also given that uh, triangle ABE is equilateral. So that triangle ABE is equilateral. Okay, we will need those properties. And triangle DEC is isosceles. We should prove or show that AE is perpendicular to ED, which means they meet at 90 degrees. So in other words, we are proving that angle E2 is equal to 90 degrees, am I right? So that, that's another way. So we're proving that angle E2 is 90 degrees. Okay, so ABCD is a parallelogram, triangle ABE is equilateral. That means all angles in triangle ABE are 60 degrees. So that is 60 degrees, that is 60 degrees, and that is 60 degrees. Um, and uh, you are suggesting that we say angle B is equal to angle A1, is equal to angle E1, or you could pick the ones that you think you will need to use. And this is all equal to 60 degrees, so we know that. And what is the reason for that? So these are angles in a in an equilateral triangle. Okay, anything like that, because we are told that this is an equilateral triangle, right? Uh, the next thing, can we say angle D two is equal to angle E three? Okay, let's do that. So angle E three is equal to angle D2. We will look for its size later on. But why are we saying angle E3 is equal to angle D2? These are? Uh, okay, the reason is very important. I, I can hear you saying isosceles triangle, but I want to know why those two angles are equal in, those isosceles, in that isosceles triangle. Okay, so I want us to use this one. Say angles. These are angles opposite equal sides, right? Um, EC is equal to CD. Right, we are told that triangle DEC is isosceles. So if that is isosceles, it means EC should be equal to DC. And these two angles, it's correct, they are called base angles of that isosceles triangle. Uh, I prefer here to call it, or to call them angles opposite equal sides. And I go on to name the equal sides. All right, so those are angles opposite equal sides, therefore they are equal. Um, Let's carry on. Angle D1 is equal to angle E3. Angle D1 is equal to angle E3. Why do we say that? In other words, this angle is equal to, to that one there. These are alternating angles, so these are alternate angles which lines are parallel. It's A, D, and, and C, E, whatever is yes, C, E, E, C, or B, C, that's fine. So those are alternate angles. Okay, uh, that's good. Then angle B is equal to angle D, or let me say angle D1 plus angle D2. This is the same thing as angle D. D1 plus D2 is angle D, and I know that this is equal to 60 degrees. Because we know that B is 60 degrees, we said it earlier on. But what reason do I have now? Why are we saying angle B is equal to angle D1 plus angle D2? Because these are opposite angles in a parallelogram, right? So we can work out angle D1 and angle D2. If angle D1 is equal to angle D2, did we say that somewhere? Did we say angle D1? is equal to angle D2, or is it now obvious? 
Do we need to say it again? Because we can see now from the diagram that these are, these are equal. Uh, maybe we could have said it after stating that D1 is equal to D3, I mean to E3. But in any case, guys, uh, we know that if D1 is equal to E3 and E3 is equal to D2 from this statement here, what can we conclude from th that statement? If E3 is equal to D2 and E3 is equal to D1, obviously it means D1 is equal to, to D2, right? Okay. We could have said it maybe just after that. But we are saying angle D1 is equal to angle D2. So if you make use of this previous statement here, do we agree that D1 is equal to 30 degrees? So this is 30 degrees. Therefore, E3 is equal to 30 degrees. And therefore, E1 plus E2 plus E3 should be, should be equal to 180 degrees. Why are we saying that? These are angles on a straight line, okay? So these are angles on a straight line. Um, when we know E1 and E3, so this is 30 degrees plus E2 plus 30 degrees, am I right? Sorry? E1, oh, sorry, E1 is 60 degrees, right, so E1 is 60 degrees. So 60 degrees plus E2 plus 30 degrees is equal to 180 degrees, okay, um, and so from here we can conclude that E2 is equal to 90 degrees. Then we go back to answer the question, therefore, AE is perpendicular to ED.